Hello, this is Nick with Nick'sComputerFix.com and here's a video on the Netgear AC1900 Dual Band Wi-Fi Range Extender. Unboxing, setup, and review. And the setup is using the Netgear Genie. Alright, let's go ahead and get started here. First off, let's take a really quick look at the box itself. There's not much to look at except for on the back. They have provided an excellent diagram where you might want to locate your Wi-Fi range extender within your house or building. Definitely take a close look at this. Okay, that's enough at looking at the outside. Let me go ahead and grab my pocket knife and open up this box so that we can take a close-up look at the extender itself. To begin with, there's a quick start manual in here and it gives excellent diagrams and information. I'll put that aside for now and let's take a really close-up look at the extender. Um, on the left side, we have the factory reset on and off button, WPS, an access point or extender button, and also a lot of air vents because this baby does get hot. And then on the bottom, we have model number, serial number, and WPS numbers. Also, lots of air vents and an AC plug as well. And talking about air vents, they're all over this device, as you can see here. Also on the bottom we have an Ethernet port and you can connect any wireless device that you have uh, directly to the extender via an Ethernet cable. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the front of the unit here very quickly. We have a couple of LED lights that are going to be very useful in the setup here. Um, on the left side we have a couple of router signal lights and then on the right side we have a couple of client signal lights and then um, on the left side down below here we have a power and WPS LED light. Alright um, let's go ahead and set this up by plugging it into a wall outlet within the same room as your primary router is located and when you do the power light will go from an amper to a solid green and once that takes place we can go ahead over to our computer here and go down to our taskbar and left click on the Wi-Fi icon and that will bring up a list of available SSIDs as well as shows you the one that you're um, presently connected to we want to go ahead and locate Netgear underscore EXT. Once you do, click on it and then click on connect. It will go out and attempt to connect and once it does, it will go ahead and place the Netgear underscore EXT on the top of the list just like it does here. And it will say no internet open and on some computers your internet browser will open up to the Netgear Genie automatically if it doesn't open up an internet browser and go to this URL address and I'll have this in my video description okay once you're on this page you want to go ahead down to um, new extender setup click on that and for some strange reason Netgear wants you to create an account with them and you know it's it's kind of ridiculous that you have to do this just to set up your uh, you know your range extender but um, it is what it is so let's go ahead and do that and click on next and then the Netgear Genie informs us that this device is going to be set up as a Wi-Fi range extender you can also set this up as an AP or access point uh, but we're not doing that during this video so let's go ahead and click on continue and set this up as a Wi-Fi range extender and then it goes out, the, uh, the genie that is, goes out and scans the um, available networks that it sees, which is all the um, available networks or existing networks within your neighborhood, as well as the one that's in your house um, or building. And once you see it on the uh, left side and right side, if you're dual band, hopefully you are. If you're not, don't worry about it. Just select your network that you want to connect the Wi-Fi range extender up to and in my case it's the Skybird under 2.4 gigahertz and under the 5 gigahertz it is the Skybird 5 
and so with those two selected I'm going to go down here and go ahead and click on next okay now that you already selected the networks Netgear Genie wants us to enter the Wi-Fi password or the network key for my existing Wi-Fi network um, that was previously selected and that was for the Skybird and Skybird 5 and in my case the Wi-Fi password is the same on both bands yours could be different but in most cases they're the same password that's just how most people set their router up and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click on next now that I type that in and the last thing that I need to set up is or decide upon is to enter a network name and security setting for your extended Wi-Fi network in other words do I want to change the default name or names on the Wi-Fi extender and do I want to give the Wi-Fi extender a different Wi-Fi password than the one that's um, pre-existing on my existing network and certainly I can go ahead and change the SSIDs to anything I like to have them um, as and also change the Wi-Fi passwords too but I'm going to leave the Wi-Fi password the same and uh, only change the SSIDs alright once you decide upon that you know go ahead and click on next and then when you do it'll go and apply those settings and this can definitely take it says takes up to a minute but I noticed that um, I did this a couple of times and I noticed that it took like on one um, setup it took almost two minutes for it to actually apply the settings so uh, keep that in mind that a minute um, or longer is actually what it should say and sometimes it can take that long alright once it's completed and then I get this last page that says connect any Wi-Fi enabled device like you would connect them to your main network using the following credentials um, and then I put a check mark there and click on continue and when I do I get this hmm we're having trouble finding that site and the reason for that is is basically because I'm not connected to any Wi-Fi network at all right here now I have to go through the SSID list and choose to connect to my primary router or to the Wi-Fi extender and I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi extender and here's my 5 gigahertz and this is my 2.4 gigahertz right down below here and I connect to either one but I'm gonna connect to the 5 gigahertz and I'll click on that and click on connect and then it prompts me for a password and as you recall during the setup I did not change the Wi-Fi password I left it as the same Wi-Fi password that is on my existing Wi-Fi network and uh, that's what I'm going to type in here and once I do I'm going to click on next and it will attempt to connect up to my network via the Wi-Fi extender and it has it's connected and I'm secured and um, I can go ahead and open up a web page now and I will just go ahead and access my home page which happens to be the Google search engine and when I'm typing stuff in here it starts to do the search okay let's go ahead and take one last look at the Netgear AC1900 Wi-Fi extender and by the way it's also referred to as the AC1900 EX6400 I just wanted to give you a close-up look here at the um, device with all the lights are on as you can see this is fully functional um, the WPS light is not lit because we did not set this up with the WPS um, functionality I did show that in another video uh, if you like I do have that in uh, my video description now one um, thing or one or two things I would like to say is that this is a really powerful Wi-Fi extender from Netgear it works really well the signals are strong and steady and also what's important I wanted to point out is that if you're having trouble setting this up be sure to locate this in the same room or like very close to your Wi-Fi um, router because um, if you send in another room and you're trying to set it up you might not be successful keep in mind that Netgear has been around for a while 
and uh, I find that um, Netgear products are very reliable. Okay, that's the end of this video. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.